My family named me Uza Amaka. That's my full name. It means the road is good. Isn't that a beautiful name? Thanks, Mom. I got it for my birthday. <laughs> so, <laughs> Uza Amaka. But I grew up in a small New England town, and there weren't a lot of Nigerian Americans living in my region. And I would have teachers or <laughs> anyone, neighbors, try and say my name, and it would be Azumeka, Uzamaka, Uzokuza, any version that they could think of other than Uzamaka. So I came home from school one day, and my mom was cooking in the kitchen, as she is wont to do, the mother of five children. And I said to her, Mommy, can I ask you a question? She said, eh. <laughs> I said, can you call me Zoe? And she stopped and gave that mother look that only mothers know and have and said, why? <laughs> and I said, because no one can say Oza Amaka. And she looked at me and she said, if they can learn to say Tchaikovsky and Michelangelo and Dostoevsky, then they can learn to say Oza Amaka. And I never asked her again. <laughs> and what is amazing now standing in my womanhood, in my power, is I wouldn't change my name for a second. I'm so proud of that name and what stems behind it and what it represents. So do not ever erase those identifiers that are held in you, whether it's your gap, whether it's your name, whether it's your food. It is yours and it was given to you at birth and it is yours to own.